guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Buff Bunny Collection try on and review. And I'm so excited because this is another collab with Miss Bailey. I love her so much. We had so much fun together in the Caymans for Heidi's wedding and I got to know her a little bit better and she's just so sweet. She's hilarious. And she's got the Juicy Booty, which is why this collection is called Juicy Collection. And I'm so excited because obviously you guys know I love brights and the colors in this one are just so me like i just am so into it and this is the last like bright collection of the year until because now we're getting into fall colors and all that so i'm really excited i've tried everything on and i've been working out in some things and i can't wait to give you guys my full thoughts this collection is launching on saturday june 27th at 1 p.m central time 2 p.m eastern as always i'll put everything on the screen for you guys and i'm just gonna go over thing that i have i don't have every piece this is a decently sized sized launch so I don't have everything, but I have a good amount of things and I'm excited to review. As always, I will be 1000% honest with all of my feedback. Um, for my stats, I'm 5'7", I'm around 167 pounds-ish, and I wear a small in the leggings, medium tops, and large bras. And then I always wear large shorts as well. So I'm kind of like all over the place, just like what makes me feel comfortable. I know I represent a demographic demographic of women who have loose skin. I have loose skin in my arms, my armpits, my thighs. So I like to kind of play around with my sizing and that's just what I found works best for me. So I'll talk about sizing for every piece in this collection. We have a lot of new stuff and then also like some repeat stuff, some repeat colors that we've seen before. And I'm really excited about this one. It's gonna be definitely hard for me to pick my favorites, but I will put a little favorites button right next to the items that I'm talking about that I think are must haves because it's really hard to pick when there's a collection of ton of stuff. So I just wanna give you guys a little list of things so you're not feeling too overwhelmed. As always, you can use code Felicia when you're checking out. It'll save you 10% off your order and it will enter you into my giveaways. I'm gonna be doing my giveaways a little bit different going forward. I think I'm gonna be giving the gift cards after each collection because sometimes people get confused. It's just been like a little bit all over the place. So I think once the collection is mostly done at the end of that month or a few weeks later, I will close it off and I will give away the gift cards. So all you have to do is shop the collection using code Felicia, screenshot showing that you used it and then you can upload it to my giveaway form. It's super duper easy. And if you're in the Buff Bunny reward system and you want to use your points, you can just use my link. I'll put it right here. It's, when you go to shop, all you do is type in buffbunny.com slash Felicia. This will support me. And sometimes people forget to throw in the code because it's like so crazy. So this will automatically support me no matter what. And if you show your order confirmation number, I can confirm it on my end. So that is it. I'm talking fast because... I've got three kids and I don't have much time to do these videos. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I love doing these. I'm about to go on a photo shoot as well today to shoot the collection. And it's just like a fun little getaway and thing for me to do to like, I don't know. It's just like self care almost. Cause I love active wear. I get to get ready and feel pretty. So I love it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will have timestamps for all the items. Okay, the first legging that I'm gonna talk about is a new legging and I have it in three colors here because this might be my favorite legging. I'm not gonna say ever, but my favorite legging for sure in this collection and definitely my favorite flare that they've done. If you guys know me, I love the flares before I get started. It is the Aggressive Scrunch Flare Legging and I love my flares. They are my lifestyle legging. I wear them when I go out with my friends. I wear them when I go run errands. They're just so flattering. And these are the aggressive scrunch ones. So they have this hidden little scrunch in the back that literally makes your butt look so plump and juicy. Like it makes your butt look so good. And it's not like you can see the scrunch is aggressive, but when you're wearing it, it's not you don't see it from the outside. You know those one leggings, like those TikTok leggings or like Amazon leggings where you can like see the scrunch and it's like so obvious and it looks like a little scrunchy butthole. You can't see that when you're wearing them. It just goes perfectly right on your butt. It's so flattering. And of course I love my flares. These are coming in short, regular and long. So I did get size small long. Um, I'm five foot seven and I can wear regular flare length but when i put sneakers on and when i hike them up the way i want them they can get a little bit too close to being too short so just to be safe i got longs 
Um, also with these, these are butter fabric instead of Nubri fabric. And with butter and the scrunch combined, they kind of naturally like go up a little bit. Like they form to your booty. They kind of go up. You kind of have to like move them up a little bit to make them look really, really good. So it'll shorten the length a little bit. So they did add extra length onto these, I believe, compared to like the regular like Foxy flares. So they are, I'll show you in the video, they are long on me, but they're perfect. Like the way I hack them up, they're perfect, especially with my sneakers. So these are definitely a number one pick for me, especially if you like flares. I also know that they extended the calf a little bit more. So the way that they fit on your calf and then flare is like perfect. Catherine, one of the Buff Bunny Collection athletes who had the no filter collection, she is very picky about her calves and flares and things like that. And I know she helped them perfect that on these with Bailey. So I'm really, really excited about that. So um, this is definitely one of my number one picks. I would stay, stay true to size for sure. Um, with butter fabric, they are so stretchy. If you know like energy fabric, it's kind of like that stretch, like extremely stretchy. Um, forms perfectly to your body. It's definitely a light compression, so it's not gonna give you a ton of compression, a little bit lighter than like Nubri Foxy Flares, um, but I still find it makes me feel amazingly confident. They have the new silicone tonal logos, which I love because like I said, I wear these as like a lifestyle pant. I don't usually work out in flares, not for any reason, I just find them I just find I like them more as a lifestyle pant. So I love that they did this because it doesn't have like the white logo where I feel like when you see that white logo, it's like, oh, that's a workout legging. So I love that they're making it like a little more lifestyle-y. Um, I'm super happy they did that because um, they've been doing that recently and I think they're gonna be doing that going forward. And it just, it works for me because these are such a lifestyle pant for me. So stick true to size, definitely a lighter compression. Um, you could definitely size down if you're like in between or you're not sure. Um, I could probably wear an extra small on these easily. Um, I would definitely just get like the long extra small, but the smalls are comfortable. So that's what I'll be sticking with. But like I said, the sizing is very flexible. I just would not size up in them because um, they are butter fabric. So they can slide uh, a little bit if you're sizing up because they're so soft and silky. I will also say butter fabric can tend to pill a little bit easier than like Nubri fabric. So just be aware of that. They make like little pill shavers on Amazon. I haven't really had that many issues with it, but it's just something to be aware of. Now, can we just talk about this red color? This is like, I'm living for it. I can't wait to wear this whole outfit together. This red is gorgeous. This is lipstick red. So pretty. I'm so excited about it. You guys know I love all the Buff Bunny reds that they do. So I'm very excited about this. This color is a must for me in this collection. Um, another legging that is coming out is the contour legging, which we have seen variations of the contour. We have contour pocket. We've seen these before. They have that line contouring on the front, which I really like. It, so these are a Nubri fabric. It's coming in a couple of the colors. I didn't get anything in the lemon pepino color, but it's so cute. I love green. So I'm kind of, I might, you know, go for that. These would be more of a medium compression. Um, I might try to snag the lemon pepino ones in these myself. These will be a little bit more compressive than the flares. Anything that's butter, these will have a little bit more compression. These are a high rise, not ultra high rise, which same thing with the flares. Those are all, those are also high rise, not ultra high rise, but I found them to be perfect on me. I feel like sometimes the high rise ones are just way too low, but with the flares, they hit at the perfect spot for me. They weren't too high like Foxy's, which I don't think Foxy's are too high, but I know a lot of people do. Um, and they weren't too low to where when I squat down, my whole, like, almost, my butt crack's almost coming out. So um, those fit perfectly on me. So I don't know if that will be the same with contour. By the looks of it on Bailey in this photo, they look to be, like, the same. So I can always tell when they're going to be too low on me. These really don't seem that way. So I'm not sure if they're, like, a little bit higher than the normal high rise, but that is what they're classified as. Now, any of the light colors, like, these are coming in guava. They will be, um, I'll show you a squat test with my guava shorts that I have. Anything that's super light is not gonna be not sheer. Like it is gonna be a little bit sheer, but if you just wear a nude seamless thong, I, I don't ever have any major, major problems with sheerness in Buff Bunny leggings. Like maybe a few seamless here and there. I've been a little too sheer, but for the most part, um, as long as you're wearing nude underwear, I think you'll be completely fine. So that is another legging option that has three colors. And so if you want something that has a little bit more compression, you're not a butter fabric fan, that is a great option for you. As well as the legacy leggings, the OGs. Um, 
the legacy leggings are one of my all-time favorite leggings those are ultra high rise so if you're looking for that ultra high rise and you love that there's only one color option in these which is the barista blue which is so pretty i thought i had them but when i went to go look i only have the monarch legging in barista blue so i don't have the legacy in those but legacy is always a go-to they're ultra high rise they have a medium compression they have really nice butterfly seaming on the glutes and they're just a go-to so flattering and if you like barista blue definitely snag them we also have the aggressive scrunch legging now in the past this hasn't been my favorite legging and i know i've said i love the flares but for me the aggressive scrunch legging rise fits lower than the rise on the flares um the reason i didn't love the original aggressive scrunch legging was because i felt like anytime i did a squat the back rise was just way too low on me personally and it would just slide right down i even sized down I, I got a medium in those i got a small and an extra small and out of all of them i would say the small was probably the best my true size and then the extra small the medium no way so definitely do not size up in butter because they're just going to slide down um but the rise on those are just too low in the back for me and it's weird because And it's weird because the flares aren't like that at all on me and they're both considered high rise. So just something to keep in mind. Um, if you've had the aggressive scrunch before and they don't bother you, then they're, they are coming in three colors. But um, I know some girls with the, the rise, they're not sure with the high rise, they prefer ultra. So if you're wanting to get aggressive scrunch anything, I would get the flares. I personally just prefer the flares and they're coming in the red. Um, but the aggressive scrunch legging is I know for sure a favorite of a lot of people so just kind of depends if how you feel about the rise of things um i don't know if they're different this time around i didn't get any of the the ones from this collection but i know i have a pair of the black and I, they make my belt look amazing but i do just feel like they slide a little bit too low for me in the back so just something to keep in mind for those but that is another option they are butter fabric so they're going to be true to size or size down if you're in between and they are a lighter compression legging okay another legging that i don't have that nobody has right now except for i think bailey does um the miracle seamless legging i am so intrigued by these because obviously they're a seamless legging which i do i do like a seamless legging um but they have a specific design to them where it gives a little bit of extra compression like right under your glutes to like lift up your butt and just make it look amazing so i'm very like intrigued i really want to try it they will be available to you guys for a pre-order only so the difference between this pre-order and like any regular pre-order is that these miracle seamless leggings have already been ordered they're just not in yet so they're gonna put them up for sale for how much quantity they have all, um, coming and then they can sell out so it's not like an unlimited pre-sale they do have a set amount that they have already ordered that will be in in the next few weeks probably so it's not going to take the same amount as a regular pre-order which can take months and months you will have these sooner than later it's not going to take too long but like i said they still can sell out even though it's a pre-order because there is a set amount that's already been ordered if that makes sense so then when you order them um it'll be separate from your order so your order will ship and then when those are in the seamless will ship to you so you don't have to worry about you not getting your whole order just because you're waiting on the seamless um so yeah those will be available for that and i'm really excited about those i'm gonna try to snag get my hands on them somehow because i'm very curious to try them anything that would lift my butt would be amazing right it does say they are a light to medium compression which is what i find most seamless leggings to be so that's just in my head i already kind of know i do per, i do like that kind of compression level i don't like a seamless that's way too compressive because it will always squeeze and make my loose skin roll over so i'm very excited to try those okay next up we have the form seamless legging these are coming in a bunch of colors but I do have them in the ombre, so cute. This is Bubbles Blue with the Honeydew collar, which, oh my God, this is just so me. Like if you put me in a legging, it would be this. Like I just love the brights. This is the Form Seamless. It is a high rise, so it's not ultra high rise. It has this like cool little design that kind of like tapers your waist a little bit. And um, it has, it does have like a seam right here, but it doesn't like, there's no scrunch so it, 
I do feel like I kind of have to hike them up and pull them up a little bit in the booty so that they make the booty look nice. But I wore them today on a walk and they stayed up great. Maybe like a little bit too low for me in the back, but nothing like some of the other high rise leggings. It still looked so flattering. I felt like a million bucks in these. And um, like I said, they are coming in a bunch of colors. So they do have the seam there, but it's not a scrunch. So be aware of that. You will have to adjust a little bit. But a lot of people were asking about the sheerness of these. I will do a squat test and show you guys. Like I said, anything with colors this light, it's gonna be a little bit sheer. But I wore them today with a seamless thong and I felt completely fine. I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, people can see through my leggings. It wasn't like that at all. But just be aware they are gonna be on the sheer side. So don't wear any kind of bright underwear or black underwear. Just wear like a nude seamless underwear and you should be good to go. Um, with any seamless, the waistband is usually a little tighter and then down here where it's like on your lower stomach, it's the regular stretchy seamless fabric. So I know some people um, are not a huge fan of seamless for that reason, especially if you have loose skin. I've had mine on my stomach removed, but I've been there and I know how it is with waistbands that are like extra tight and then the stretchy seamless material here. So it will emphasize that fupa area, that lower belly area, if that's something that you're conscious of. Um, I say work it, I think you're beautiful the way you are, but it's okay to feel a certain way and want things to um, make you feel good. So if that's something that you're worried about, I will put that out there for you guys. That's how most seamless leggings are, I, I feel. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. But otherwise, I love these. They do have a seam right here on the side to kind of help form your glute a little bit. So like I said, they don't have the scrunch and they're not as flattering on the booty as some of other leggings, like aggressive scrunch. But the seams really help. And like I said, they have that seam right there that does help as well. So you just gotta adjust them. So cute. I felt so confident in these. I did get a medium sent to me. So I asked for a small, but they sent me a medium. So I don't know if that means they think that they run a little bit smaller, but I will say the medium felt great. I think if I got a small, I might feel like they were a little bit too low in the front and the back. So I would say if you're in between sizes, definitely size up. I would not size down in these. They are tight on this waistband. The rest of it's obviously really stretchy, seamless material, but you wanna make sure the waistband isn't squeezing you too much. And I think the mediums were perfect on me. So if you're in between and you're not sure, I would just go with your size up. Now, one thing I love about ombre is you can mix and match. So cute. So you can wear this with a white top. You can wear this with the honeydew top. You can wear this with bubbles blue. You can even wear it with black because black goes with everything. But I think this with white or any of these two colors would be so freaking cute. It's also coming in an ombre matching bra, which I'll talk about. I don't have, but I will uh, show you guys a picture of that. So, so many options with these. That's why I love it. And I'm sure you could even find a green or a blue in your closet that would go cute with this too. So. Okay, next up we have the aggressive scrunch shorts. I know I said the leggings weren't my favorite, but like I'm such a ride or die for these flares and these shorts, you guys, okay. They are seven inch inseam, which you guys know, six is like my favorite. Anything a little bit longer, but not too full biker short, those are like my favorite. Since these are butter and since they have a scrunch, they do fit like a six inch. Like once you put them on, once they go up, like once they, get to where they need to be, they fit like a six. I'm so obsessed with these and something that's funny is I got them a few weeks ago and I think they only released them in black. And um, I put them on and tried them on for my Instagram story and I was like, these are amazing. Like, I hope you guys bring more colors. Like, I'm so excited about them. And then not even 30 minutes later, I got the email for this collection and they're bringing them back in so many colors, including the guava, like, are you kidding? So cute, it has a tonal logo right there, has the scrunch, so flattering. Like every time I put these on, I just feel like a million bucks. Like, and the six, seven range is the best for shorts. Not too long and not too short. Um, so cute with the t-shirt, which there are some t-shirts coming and just incredible. This color is so cute. Again, it is lighter, so it's gonna be on the more sheer side. I'll do a squat test for you guys, but they are butter fabric once again, so they are a lighter compression. So these are a must for me. I'm definitely gonna try to pick them up in other colors. They look so cute with sneakers and the scrunch socks. Such a nice, comfortable short, like they feel like you're wearing nothing. So to just throw them on with like a baggy t-shirt or something else, like cute little jacket, something, literally anything. 
perfect for running errands in the summer, perfect for a day out with your kids, comfortable and cute. Okay, another shirt we have are these Rebel 6-inch shorts in the pink holographic. <laughs> Tell me these are not so gorgeous. So these are more of a performance material, so they're definitely going to be the most compressive short in this collection. The most, uh, did I say aggressive? The most compressive short slash pant at all in this whole collection. Um, so if you're looking for something more compressive, then definitely the Rebel. Um, this is the only color they're coming in, the pink holographic. So stinking cute. These are large. I would definitely recommend sticking to your regular short size because they're a little bit more compressive. You don't want them to be too squeezing, especially in the thighs. Um, I always feel like performance shorts do that to me a little bit more, but I still would stick with my regular large. Um, definitely amazing compression and these pair perfectly with the pink holographic, um, a bra that I'm going to talk about, but also this with a white bra or white crop top. So, so stunning. I'll feel like a little Barbie. I can't wait to try this on for my photo shoot today with a white crop. Um, these will definitely be a little bit more sweat wicking not completely sweat proof though, um, but definitely great for high impact workouts or even just like I said, walking daily errands that mean the pink holographic you might be like i'm not wearing that for daily errand but like yolo why not so gorgeous you're gonna get a million compliments when you wear these i feel like holographic is just such a statement i know like the regular holographic that they have i every time i wear them i get people like those are so cute where'd you get those so i know for the pink girlies this is perfect i feel like it's not too much it's way less subtle than the original holographic so Love these, another short option for you guys if you want a little bit more compression. So to go with those, starting off in bras, we have the Revolution Halter V2. So this will be a performance material, same as the shorts. I got this in a large, so it is a halter, so it's gonna go over like this. And then it's backless, obviously, with this little thing here. And the logo is right there, if you can see it. Um, this also has a built-in like shelf liner right here. You can see so i it feels like the same length as like a regular revolution bra like a long line but um since it's the halter they added that um, shelf lining in there which i appreciate because sometimes with halters especially if you have little saggier boobs like me i need that extra little bit of support and lift so i love that this is going to be like a medium compression again because it's a halter it's not going to be like super duper uh compressive for like a running or jumping workout i mean it you can but it's not going to be like locked and loaded like some other bras because it just doesn't have a ton of support since it is a halter but so cute this outfit is such a vibe um you could also wear this with black plain black leggings would be so cute so if you don't want to buy the whole set with the shorts if you just want the bra such a cute option so pretty and shiny this is a large and i would definitely stick true to size because it is performance material it does have some stretch but it's just a little bit more rigid than like a butter or a nubri bra so keep that in mind okay next we have the adjustable nubri bra this was one that i was not expecting to be a favorite just because a lot of times with smaller bras i just feel like i don't know i just feel like they don't work for me this is actually a lot thicker like width wise than i was expecting um, it's so cute and flattering and I love the strap. It is removable, but I will not be wearing it removable because just the way my boobs are, they're saggy mom boobs. So it will, I just already know this is going to flip down. I'll do it in the try on, but, um, I need a little bit more support. So thank you for adding this strap because it's perfect and it is adjustable. This top strap is adjustable to help you feel a little bit locked and loaded and supported. And then this back straps are also adjustable which i love because i don't want something that's going to squeeze my back um so thank you bailey and buff money collection for that this is a masterpiece it's so simple and like i said i just wasn't sure i was going to like it just because i thought oh it's like a normally with these kind of um bandeaus they don't work for me but this strap is life changing oh <laughs> just came off it is life changing so cute again like i said it is removable just hook it in here so freaking cute i'm so excited about this i also have it in the long version so i'll show you in the try on but this is the crop halter so cute this one has a built-in bra and um i honestly 
I thought I was gonna like the crop more because it's a crop top, which I still love it. Um, but I actually think I like this more. It just is a little bit more comfortable. I feel like with this full length one, I mean, it's not full length, but it's like mid length. Um, with the shelf liner, the shelf liner does squeeze a little bit. It's a little tight. The rest of it fits fine, but the shelf liner does kind of like squeeze right there a little bit. Um, so if you're in between sizes, you could definitely size up in this one, but this one fits perfect. I wouldn't size up in this. I think it's perfect. This is definitely going to be a lighter support. Obviously, like you can tighten the straps, but this is definitely meant to be a lower impact workout top. Um, I wore it on my walk and I loved it. Perfect. It does have cup pads in it. So I'm a fan of both of these, but if I had to pick, I actually surprisingly liked the bra better. But if you want something with more coverage on your tummy area, then this is also a great option. Just maybe consider sizing up, especially if you um, don't like, like if you carry more weight in this part of your body, it might pinch a little bit and cause like some rollover. Um, but I'm so impressed with these. I just wasn't sure what to think. Cause like halters, I don't know, sometimes they're not, um, because bandeaus just sometimes don't work for me, but the halter portion is just game changing. This also has a rubber um, little thing here to keep it up, which actually feels super nice and tight and supportive, but not too tight. As you can see, I do have some spillage. That's just how I am. That um, rubber thing goes all the way around. So, um, and I definitely feel like it's not going anywhere. It feels really nice and really supportive. So I love that. I'm so impressed. It also is on this, but it doesn't feel as like grippy on this one. This one feels like a little just more smoother, but it did still help keep it up. This one definitely feels like more grip. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like delusional, but so cute. Amazing, um, job formulating these and designing them because perfect. Next up, we have the Curve Sports Bra. We have seen this one before. I love this bra. I always was one that, like, when this first came out, I was like, there's no way this is gonna keep my boobs in. Like, I have saggy boobs. There's no way, because it cuts off right under your chest, but it actually stays in place so well. Like, when you're holding it, when you get it, you're like, there's no way this is staying up. Um, like, it's no, there's no way it's not moving from under here, but it actually does. I can raise my arms, I can jump, I can work out, and it does not budge. It has a seam right here, so maybe that helps. I don't know. I will say I'm a little bit sad it doesn't have cup pads. Because it's butter fabric, it's a little bit more of a thinner fabric. It's so soft, but I feel like you can see my nipples a little bit in this. Nothing crazy. You, there is a place where you can add cup pads if you want, and I know a lot of the girls were saying to get those, like, cakes reusable silicone nipple covers, which I do need to invest in those. Um, but I also heard on the other end, people are upset. Like, I don't want to have to buy something to go with my bra. Like my bra should just have them and then you can take them out. So I do understand that as well. I personally wish they came with them. And then if someone wants to take them out, they can, but I know sometimes it can be tricky with certain bras. So I understand both sides of it. But for me, I do wish, um, I had some cup pads in here. Maybe I'll add my own. Um, but you'll see in the try on, it's just like, you can see my nipples a little bit. So just a preference, whatever you want. I'll show you how it works on me, but it has the like uh, racer back in the back. I got this in a large, the butter fabric is just so flattering. I don't feel like it squeezes me too much. It's nice and stretchy. It feels like just butter. Like that's the perfect way to describe it. I love this fabric so much. I will say again, since it's butter fabric, it's going to be a lighter support however it does have full coverage and like i said i do not spill out at all underneath i don't know if some girls with the larger chest do i haven't really seen that much about it i really don't think um because somehow it just keeps you in so great so i love this is coming in a bunch of colors i also feel like it's so flattering because it's cuts off right under here i'm normally like a long line girly but for some reason like this with a regular legging it just makes you look kind of like elongated and I just feel like it's really flattering so I'm a fan of this bra and this color and like these two colors together are just such a vibe such a vibe so cute one of the bras that I didn't get um one of them is the ombre bra that goes with the seamless it is the it is the wonder seamless bra I'll post a picture right here um I didn't ask for this just because, I don't know, I don't 
love the design of it. I, I don't know if it can be crisscrossed the other way. Oh, straps can be styled three ways, crossed over in the front, crossed over in the back, or on one shoulder. So I definitely think I would like them crossed in the back better. It does have a little ruching detail right here, which is really cute. Um, a pretty open back. The strap in the back is pretty thin. It does have adjustable straps. And like I said, you can adjust them three different ways. This will come in black guava and the ombre. So if you want the matching ombre with the leggings, it will be in this bra only. Um, it's a light to medium support. It is a seamless fabric. I always feel seamless bras give me more of a medium support. Um, and with this one with the straps, I feel like if you were to cross it in the front or in the back, it'll kind of give you an extra lift and support. So love that. It says it does have a, a removable pads as well. So we love that. Two bras coming back that we've seen so many times before. One is the Alpha Sports bra. This is coming in just the barista blue to go with those legacy leggings. Um, I am not the biggest fan of the Alpha. I know it's a very popular Buff Bunny collection bra. It is a staple. I just feel like it doesn't give me enough support in the front. It does make the girlies look really good, but something about that with the straps, it's, it's cute. It's just not my favorite. I don't tend to grab it as much. I feel like, um, it, I fall out of it really easily and it makes me nervous. So it's not my favorite, but it is cute. And I know it's a fan favorite. So I had to add that in here. That is coming in just one color. And then we have the iconic candy wrap sports bra. Um, this is coming in four different colors, bubbles, blue, guava, honeydew, and lipstick red. And you guys know, I love the candy wrap. That is my baby from sugar rush collection. I'm so happy that it's just been a staple now in buff bunny collection. It's so high support, like it will lock you and load you in like no other bra that Buff Bunny Collection has done. So I love that we have this bra for the larger chest chested ladies, the BTC, um, because if you want something that'll give you full support and coverage, this is it. While also looking so sexy and so feminine and cute, the twist detail in the front is so cute. I feel like it can be really hard to find a bra for larger chested ladies that's also cute. Like I just feel like sometimes they're just like, not that cute. I don't know. This one is just gorgeous. The wrap detail in the front is so cute. It has the adjustable straps. Um, I will say a lot of people have learned over the last however many years this has been out since my collection. Sizing up on this is probably the way to go, especially if you have a larger chest because it'll give you a little bit more room in the rib cage and then you can adjust it with the adjustable straps as well. So this is gonna vary for everyone, but for the most part, if you're worried about the sizing and you're in between, I'll go with the size up and then you can adjust the straps and you will be locked in, locked and loaded. So this is gonna be your highest support sports bra from this collection. Um, it does have removable pads. This is great for high performance workouts, cardio, anything, yoga, walking, it's so cute. Um, so that is an option coming in four colors, four really, four of the best colors of this collection. Bubbles Blue, Guava, Honeydew, and Lipstick Red. My favorite colors from this entire collection. So that's amazing. We love the candy wrap. She is a queen. We also have a plunge seamless sports bra. So this is another seamless bra. It's coming in a couple different colors. I don't have this to review, so it's hard for me to like talk on this one too much. Um, it says light to medium support. It has a plunge neckline, so very low neckline which it doesn't look too bad. Like I think I could make this work with my mom boobs and it does have adjustable straps. So I might be picking this up because I really wanna try that lemon pepino color and I feel like this would be really cute in that. So overall, I wouldn't say this is would be my favorite of this collection. It seems like pretty um, toned down, nothing crazy. It looks really comfortable. I would say this is probably best for definitely light workout, yoga, that kind of stuff. Um, even like lifestyle, really cute under a t-shirt, looks comfortable. We also have a new twist bra. This is the twisted halter bra. I don't think we've had this before, but it's coming in black, white, honeydew, and peach rings, which was from Sugar Rush as well. Peach rings is so gorgeous. And then of course, honeydew is so gorgeous as well. Um, for me, you guys know how I feel about the twist bras. The only one that's worked for me is the twisted curve bra because it has those molded cups. That is one of my favorite bras of all time. I love to see that in bright colors. Um, but this one is another halter. So we do have a lot of halter bras in this collection. Um, so it has the halter in the back and then the one strap um, in the back with the twist. Definitely another light uh, support, very light coverage bra. Um, the twisted bras usually just don't work for me because I have sad gear boobs. It just doesn't doesn't perk them up like the twisted curve does. So 
Um, these don't have the molded cups. I don't think this one has removable cups either. It is butter fabric, so that's gonna make it even lighter support. So this is definitely good for yoga, low impact, walking, hot girl walk, any of that stuff. So cute, that is another option. Now, one of the tops I'm most excited about, this is the Curve Crop Top. So it is a long sleeve crop and it's the same design as the Curve Bra goes right under your chest right here. And I was hoping and praying that this would work for me because like I said, I have the mom boobs, I have really small chest and I was just worried that it wouldn't work. I don't know, but like all the pictures of them wearing it that we got in the email, I was like, I need this in my life right now. Please let it be what I hope it is. And it is everything that I hoped. It is so flattering. The sleeves are just nice and they're not overly tight, but they're just like, nice and compressive like they just make me feel like i don't know so good so confident it has the tonal logo right here i did get a large in this because um i wanted to stick with my bra size since it's basically a bra just with long sleeve um i definitely would not be able to do a medium so definitely stick with your regular bra size for this one just like the curved bra you can raise your arms you can do anything it's not gonna budge from there which is so crazy because it just seems like it would but it's not going to, it is butter fabric. So it's definitely a lighter compression. And my only negative about it is it doesn't have cup pads in it, which kind of stinks. Um, again, it does have a spot for you to put your own cup pads and you could take out cup pads from a different bra they don't wear that much and put them in here, which is probably what I'll do. Um, or you can get those cakes things that everyone's talking about too. But that's my only negative. I wish it had cup pads, but with all that said, it's still completely wearable. Um, I've been, I wore it today, I wore the green one today on a walk in the sunlight and I wasn't, my nipples weren't sticking out, it wasn't anything crazy, it wasn't see-through. It looked perfectly fine without the padding, but I know how other people are and me, I do like to have the padding if I could, but it still worked great with no padding, so don't be afraid of that. This is like the lightest color and, um, I'm very self-conscious about that. Like I wouldn't walk out of my house if I thought I had crazy nips showing and stuff like that, which to each their own. Like, tell me this is not gonna be the cutest combo you've ever seen in your life. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to pair all this stuff together. I've done a, a little bit of pairing, but not everything. This collection is amazing for mixing and matching. Like the colors just go so cute together. Even if you don't think it does, like it will. It's so cute. Like the guava, the guava with brown, the guava with black, the guava with green, the guava with white, guava with everything. Like, I just feel like everything goes together so cute. Even guava with red, I think would be cute. So, love this crop top. Definitely, like I said, a lighter support, um, but still so cute. And your girlies are not gonna budge out the bottom, so don't be afraid of that. And we also have the Air Knit Bolero coming back. Um, I'll post a picture here. I didn't like this one personally from the last time we had it, and I know, I don't think there's any changes to it. Um, it was just, too small. I ordered an extra large in it last time and it still didn't cover like it, it stopped like right here. So all of this was hanging out. So for me, it just wasn't super flattering on me. Um, so if you have the same like kind of area that you want covered, it doesn't come all the way to here. It stops like about right here. So this was just all sticking out and I just didn't love that. Again, if you do go for it, work it, but I like to feel 100% comfortable, confident, and that was just something that I wanted covered there. So I didn't get the Bolero this time, but I, I did hear there's no changes to it. So um, I'm sad though, because I love the um, other Bolero. What was it? The Cloud one? Was it Cloud or, yeah, I think it was Cloud. Um, it did cover that and I love that one. So cute. I think a Bolero with a crop like this or anything is so cute. I love how everyone styles it. So I really was digging the guava, um, the guava honeydew guava combo with the bolero and everything, but it just doesn't work for me and that's okay. But that is an option for you if you want something cute to style everything with. That's like a little extra thing I think that's cute to style. We also have a bodysuit, the Shape Seamless bodysuit. Um, I don't have this, but I did hear it's great. You guys know I'm kind of like, a bodysuit has to like work perfectly for me if I wanna wear it often. Like the Legacy bodysuit, a masterpiece. This one, I'm not sure if I would wear it that much, just the style of it, I don't know. It looks more of like a workout bodysuit to me. You can totally style it to make it lifestyle too. I just don't know how much I would wear it. 
But what intrigues me about this is the um, stomach area is double compressed and ribbed. So it's supposed to like suck you in and make your waist look really tiny. Like it has that extra compression in the stomach area. So I thought that was very interesting. I just don't know how that would work with somebody who has like a fupa area. I know um, a lot of people that watch my reviews um, have problem areas down in the lower belly, fupa area, things like that. I'm not sure how things would work on them. Something to keep in mind because that's double lined. It's not double lined all the way down to the fupa area. So just something to think about if you're debating on this one. I wish I had it so I could try it on for you guys. Um, but maybe I'll be able to get it after the collection and we'll see after the collection launches and we'll see um, how it works on me. It does have that like seamless ruching detail right here up close uh, when I look up close. Um, I believe the Buff Bunny Collection Instagram will probably post a lot about this one since a lot of us didn't get it. Um, it looks really flattering on the glutes. Of course, Bailey looks freaking amazing in it. It's so cute with the scrunch socks. And this is also coming in this lipstick red color so cute but like i said i'm just not sure how much realistically i would wear it i'm not a huge bodysuit girl i don't wear them a ton so that's the only thing that i would be thinking about because there is so much in this collection so much good stuff in this collection so like with everything you just have to ask yourself like how often am i going to wear this some people would wear it like constantly so that's just what i'm thinking about um but still so cute it also comes in extra extra small all the way through triple x so we love that we also have two t-shirts love their t-shirts i have the moves tee here there's also a juicy tee launching i'll put that right here but this moves tee is so freaking cute i love their t-shirts it's so nice oversized a little bit i feel like it's oversized i think i got a large because i like my t-shirts to be yeah i got a large i like mine to be a little bit on the bigger side this is so cute with the red, but also I'll try it on with this obviously too, but look how cute this combo is with the pink. What I love about this is it has guava in it, red, and then also like the venom color. So it has like all three colors in there. So you can literally wear it with any of the red venom or guava leggings, shorts, whatever. So cute. I love a nice tee with a short with sneakers. Such a vibe. And this with the white dad hat would be so cute. I'm going to do all that and post it here next to me talking. But love that. And it also has the juicy tee, which would be so cute with any of the red. And then, of course, accessories. We have scrunchies. And we also have the return of the mini game changer backpack. Um, I reviewed this before. I'll try to find like, the exact video I have of that. But it's so cute. Perfect little mini bag. It has the perfect amount of space. You guys saw me put like diapers in it and wipes. It can fit diapers, a couple diapers, wipes. Like it has a decent amount of room for it being so cute and tiny. And of course it has all the adjustable straps. So that bag in the mint might need to be mine. So that is everything in the Juicy collection. I'm sorry I don't have everything to review for you guys, but I hope I could help a little bit. I know I kind of, I felt like, I don't know how long I've been up here. Well, I've been talking for like an hour and a half, but um, I hope I helped answer a lot of your guys' questions. If you have any more questions, tune in on my Instagram for giveaways and then also comment down below here so I can help you message me um, and then also join my Discord if you're not in there. I'll put my Discord link in my description box. Um, that link will expire after a while. So if you don't, if that link doesn't work, you can just message me. But that's like a little private community chat that we have for just Buff Bunny Collection things. I'm in there to help you guys with any last minute sizing questions that you have. I will also, again, be on my Instagram doing giveaways and all that fun stuff. And as always, if you guys want to use my code Felicia, that will also enter you into a giveaway for $1,000 total that I will be announcing after the collection goes live, probably a few weeks after. Um... All you do is fill out a form. It's super easy. I'll put all that info down in the description box for you guys. Thank you guys so much. If you do choose to use my code, it means so much to me. I hope this was helpful for you. If you need any other comparisons of fabrics, colors, anything like that, I will be posting a Q&A on my Instagram story this week. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And I will see you guys in my next one.